A few weeks ago, Max, a US-based video producer, sent me a message on WhatsApp with the image of a beautiful soupy art in a magnificent location, and the message read, Idea for a vlog if you need it. AI in yacht design. This image was created with just a few key words. So today, I finally got around to registering with Dow2. I paid $30 for some credits, and I got stuck in to designing a yacht using AI. Here are the results. I started with a fairly generic request for a 50 meter long super yacht. I was surprised by how quickly the AI worked. I'm showing this image generation in real time, although on my next requests I will speed it up. The results actually were not at all bad. This one in particular was a pleasant looking yacht. Although the mast of this one looked like it had been hit by a missile and certainly did not look like a 50 meter yacht. It was significantly bigger. I then decided to make the request a little more specific by saying that I would like the yacht to have a swimming pool. And this is where the fun really started. On this design, the swimming pool is not visible, although I guess it is probably underneath the umbrella. And then this design just positioned a weird platform all the way around the yacht. And what is it with artificial intelligence and radar masts? This one looks like the yacht has hit a low bridge. Undeterred, I added details to the description by requesting a helicopter landing pad in addition to the swimming pool. The results were more LSD than AI. This design clearly had no helicopter landing pad. Forcing the helicopter to crash into the yacht resulted in mangled steel and debris all over the shop. And the only swimming pool I could see was in the corner of the screen rather than being on the yacht. This one, on the other hand, is quite a pleasing design. Just a shame that the yacht appears to have crashed into the dock. I soon realized that I may be making a mistake by not being specific enough in my request. So then I specified that the swimming pool should be on the yacht, since one design had shown a pool at the side of the yacht. Here you can see that the AI covered the yacht in swimming pools, something I think a classification society would never allow due to stability issues. And for good measure, it also placed the swimming pool at the side of the yacht. This one, on the other hand, is not too bad. Although I have to ask what on earth that winged object is and where is the helicopter landing pad I asked for? Conversely, I was also offered a yacht with a helicopter landing pad, but no swimming pool. I did feel I was getting somewhere though, so I added a few more details saying that I wanted a blue hull and that the setting of the image should be at sunset. The results were hilarious. This yacht has the mangled wreckage of a helicopter on the bow, which clearly caused the captain to back into what I can only assume is supposed to be a swimming pool. Okay, the hull is blue, I'll give them that. I don't see any sunset in the image. Here, on the other hand, the yacht is positioned in the swimming pool. And here, we have a super yacht loaded onto a ship with a massive swimming pool and a strange red bridge trailing behind. At this point, I wondered whether I was getting all of my parameters wrong. So I took out the part about the sunset and specified that I wanted a profile view of the yacht. And this did mark a radical change in the results that the artificial intelligence gave me. Here we have quite a pleasant looking yacht. The yacht with wings floating in a sea of scaffolding poles, but still quite a good effort. Whilst this offering is quite confusing, the wings have detached and are flying away. The sideboarding ladder looks like it's been made by a huge slinky. And added to that, OK, it might just be me, but I'm pretty sure that they fitted the bridge back to front. Having had quite enough of this nonsense, I totally changed approach and asked the artificial intelligence to provide me with a 140 meter long super yacht. This seemed to be a much simpler task, and although most of the images were close-ups of yachts, so impossible to get an idea of the size, one of the results was really quite impressive. I'm guessing the AI may have a certain Turkish influence, though, due to the evil eye on the side of the hull. 
Well, that was good fun. So I asked the AI to design me a 140 meter super yacht. And again, the results were very different. Far more detailed drawings of different yachts, two of which even had names assigned to them. So if you see Lacafinamon or Aturk the Nankia on the water anytime, you will know exactly where it came from. And I'd have to recommend you keep your distance. I briefly experimented with designing a 140 meter long masculine explorer yacht. In truth, because I know that many viewers of this channel do like a good butch explorer yacht. But I think those same viewers will be disappointed with the results. This was probably the best of the bunch, but it had a severe identity crisis, not knowing whether it was a sailing yacht or a motor yacht. In these days of gender fluidity, maybe I should have expected that when I asked for a masculine yacht. Honestly, I had to take a break after this to figure out where I was going wrong, why the designs weren't as beautiful as the one that Max sent to me. So I had a coffee, I had to think about it, and I went back to the AI drawing board. In take two of my experiment, I simply input super yacht on crystal clear water with a beautiful sunset in the background. And finally, I got the kind of results I was hoping for. Beautiful imagery of some wonderful looking super yachts. And I should add that these yachts are totally unique. As far as I know, they are not copies of existing vessels. They really have been created by artificial intelligence. Although it does still seem to have trouble with that radar mast. Encouraged by that result, I once more tried to incorporate a helipad on the yacht and was both surprised and disappointed by the results. This result seems to have at least three full helidecks, each one with a smouldering debris of an Apache strewn across it. Whilst this one had no visible helideck at all, but a strange luminescent blue blob at the side of it. I tried to make a search parameter of a helicopter landing pad on the bow of a yacht, but as you can see, the results were quite underwhelming. So I added some more details about the background that should surround the yacht. But in all honesty, nothing much changed. So I went back to a larger yacht, this time 85 meters in length. And again, with a specific setting in mind, the AI rewarded me with these four images that were so ugly, I didn't want to lose subscribers by downloading them. So I reduced the size of the yacht again, and actually this time had some quite interesting designs presented to me. The lessons of all of this? Well, the lessons are clearly that artificial intelligence is a very powerful tool that will surely have some role in yacht design in the very near future. I was particularly impressed with how quickly it generated those images. I must have made 20 or 30 or more unique images in a very, very short period of time. It is limited though. Some of those images were laughable. Others completely missed the point of what I was trying to achieve. Now that may be in part because I lack experience as an operator of the artificial intelligence tool. One thing is for sure, I don't think my job is in danger anytime soon. Well, on Saturday, we'll be back to our normal schedule showing you real yachts that really are for sale and specifically a fantastic Pershing called Alyssa One. Totally unique yacht. You won't want to miss that particular video. And to make sure that you don't miss, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click that like button. Only if, of course, you really did like this video. And that's it.